This month in the mountainous kingdom of Bhutan, nearly 400 people from local villages are making an arduous 10 days trek to Lunana Lake, one of hundreds of Himalayan lakes that are filling more quickly due to rapidly melting glaciers. With GF support, villagers will start to build a diversion channel at an altitude of 4,300 meters or some 14,000 feet to drain the rapidly filling lakes. If this glacial lake burst, 50 million cubic meters of waters and mud will become a catastrophic flood for villages downstream. For the people in this part of Bhutan, the early impact of global warming and climate change may have already appeared. It is in countries like Bhutan that many of the most serious and negative impacts of climate change will be disproportionately borne by those who contributed least to the cause of climate change. The diversion channel and the downstream early warning system are two examples of GEF support to help countries adapt to climate change. The GF climate change program and activities also help developing countries and economies in transitions stabilize and reduce their atmospheric greenhouse gases. As the financial mechanism of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the GF directs about $250 million per year in projects in energy efficiency, renewable energy, sustainable transportation, and low carbon technologies. More needs to be done, but what we have done so far has made an impact. Let me give you an example. In China, we partner with the government and the World Bank to make renewable energy more affordable and accessible to places that never had electricity before. Today, China is the largest manufacturer of solar cells, the largest market for solar water heaters, and the third largest market for wind power. It's where one can see firsthand GF impact is the wind-swept steppes of Inner Mongolia, where the lives of more than 400,000 yak herding families are today brighter thanks to an innovative solar light program funded under the Renewable Energy Development Program and recognized with a prestigious Ashton Award in 2008. The GF also manages two special funds under UNFCC, the least developed countries fund to address the climate change needs of 48 of the least developed countries and the Special Climate Change Fund to address agriculture, food sec security, sustainable water resources for agriculture and domestic uses, and coastal zone management, and finally disaster preparedness. The GF has directly invested $2.4 billion in the area of climate change to support projects in developing countries and economies in transition, with another $14 billion in co-financing. More than 1 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions, an amount equivalent to nearly 5% of annual human emissions, have been avoided by GF initiatives. Yet, these numbers on climate change are just one part of the GF story. Over the last 18 years, the GF has become the world's biggest environmental multilateral fund. Along the way, we have learned that investing in a deliberate and synergistic manner can bring multiple global economic and social benefit. Let me also give you an example of what I am talking about. The GF looks to support energy efficiency in building and industries 
that will also support the phase out of ozone depleting HCFCs. This way, there is both a greenhouse gas and ozone benefit. Linkages can also take the form of opportunities, for example, to reduce lead in gasoline in the framework of transport programs. Another way the GF leverage its impact is supporting land degradation program that have the added benefit of reducing demands for harmful pesticides. These and other GF initiatives are helping governments and local community to create the climate for change. One final point I'd like to make. Even if we come to consensus in Copenhagen, I think it is important to remember that over the next few years, multilateral support on the ground will mainly occur through existing delivery channels. Here is where the GF can play a critical role moving forward if it is given the means to do so. We have an established track record to deliver results and as a network institution, GF possesses unique strength to help be a financial bridge between the United Nations and Multilateral Development Bank. The GF is poised to play a pivotal role in the post-2012 world, and we are committed to our partners in business, government, and civil society to meet the challenges ahead. Thank you, and let me offer my best wishes to the organizers and participants of the Climate 2009, Clima 2009 conference. I have every confidence that your presence here will catalyze new cooperation and even spur new projects that have lasting impacts. I thank you.